Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, this is generally where the skit goes, uh, but unfortunately, neighbors are not having it today. Uh, it involved a lot of yelling, <laughs> as you can imagine. Uh, but hey, just, you know, forgive me this time. They'll come back next video. I'm going to do these videos uh, not at 1.33 a.m. All right. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Real good stuff. Hey, if you're new here, Tech Tone, pleasure to meet you. Uh, enjoy the video. I guess I'm going to get back to grinding. Enjoy. All right. Sup and welcome to the third edition of the Why You Should Play series, where today we're talking about the master of arms, the blade storm, Fury Incarnate, the Gladiator. One of my buddy Kenji's favorite class and my personal favorite tank in the game. The reason why I say that is because this is a tank. It's, it's, it's very much of a juxtaposition to the warrior. The warrior is great at taking a ton of damage, but the gladiator is great at flexing on your teammates. There is no better feeling than telling your healer, hey, I don't need you, go DPS spec. It is hilarious, it makes you feel so good, and it's just such a fun class because it has one of my personal favorite abilities in the game, which is a whirlwind. It's sick. Who doesn't love spinning around with a big ass weapon and chopping everybody in there? Not to mention tons of damage options, tons of self-sustain options, and you can still tank. It's dope. If you haven't tried a tank yet, Gladiator, in my opinion, would be the more fun option if you really want to tank and also spank at the same time. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, a tribute allocation and y'all, this is gonna be a little bit of a different one because there is a means to transition in this game. Let's be honest, tanking at the beginning of the game is an absolute joke. You do not need to go full tanky early game, which is why you wanna focus all of your efforts at doing as much DPS as possible. Because once again, the more damage you do, the shorter the fight will be, which means the less damage you have to take, which is why early game, you're going to go, yes, as a tank, three, zero two that means three in strength zero in stamina two in tech yes you will do crazy amounts of damage and not to mention the more damage you do the more you will heal with certain abilities so yes that is what you will be early game now for mid to late game and the occasional tricky boss you're going to transition to a zero strength a three stamina and a two tech and the reason why that's not a zero two three is because Later in the game, you're going to be fighting bosses that are higher level than you. If a boss is higher level than you, then you're not going to crit as much, which means you don't need to further invest into tech. Stamina just outscales tech late game and mid game. So that is my reasoning for 302 and to transition into Z032. Okay, now we're going to talk about two separate builds. We're going to do a hunting and then a team damage boss fight build. What, by, what I mean by that, for tanks, you either have to worry about yourself for a fight or you have to worry about everybody else. So... For the first rotation, we're gonna be talking about when you're the only one taking the majority of the damage, and then we're gonna talk about how we transition to where your teammates are taking the majority of the damage. Because as a tank, you do have to be flexible. This is going to be a standard, pure DPS fight. I'm gonna tell you all the utility options later, and then you can fill in the gaps once you feel out the fight, and, and then you, you'll know what you need to substitute the abilities in for it with the utility options. So, Let's get the single target, just you, yourself, taking the damage, okay? So first off, we have it right here. We're gonna go Toughen, which is gonna heal you a ton. Uh, you're gonna go Barbarian Veins, which is also gonna continue to heal you a ton, and then that is gonna trigger the Barbarian's Vein State, which is gonna let you use Blood Force, which will increase even more when you're in the Barbarian Vein State, and then from there, you're gonna go Let's Charge. Now, Let's Charge is a finicky one, and you can also replace Let's Charge with Blood Howl. Personally, I prefer starting off my typical boss fight with Let's Charge because that allows to let your DPS push more damage. The reason why I have it in slot four is because generally there's a lot of DPS who have the majority of their big ass damage options at the fourth ability. Generally, like the, the lower the HP the enemy has, uh, the more damage it'll do. But the Let's Charge, its positioning is going to be very much up to your team to decide and to work with your team in order to decide the positioning of a let's charge keep in mind if you're using barbarian bands and blood force to make sure they go one after another and once again toughen is just a great ability in general okay so that's the single target you're the only one taking the majority of the damage rotation now let's talk about team damage okay okay team damage and if you can already see these abilities you're probably gonna tell yes gladiator has a ton of team damage mitigation options and they're all 
crazy good. Starting off the fight with one of the best ones, which is unfortunate because my buddy doesn't have a legendary variant of it. That is unfortunate. We're talking about who, 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 which is going to put a buff on everybody in your entire team, reducing the damage by 20%. Uh, and it's great. Hey, reducing everybody's damage by 20%. That's good. Surprise, surprise. Next one, we're talking about sacrifice. You're going to store a ton of your health over 10 seconds. And you're also going to take 55% of the damage received every time for the team with the lowest HP, which is great. Uh, you take more of the damage, which is great because you're going to have more of a health pool. Uh, and you're going to be able to take a lot more hits than your um, little buddies in the back line are going to do as well. So Sacrifice is actually an amazing, an amazing mitigation cooldown. The next one we're talking about Blood Howl, which once again, we talked about it in the single target rotation. It is just incredibly, incredibly solid. Restore a, a shit ton of HP and then also reduce the amount of damage that you'll take. And once again, Let's Charge is going to be there again because once again, you just want to do as much damage as possible to end the fight early. Uh, let's charge is in my opinion it's probably one of the best uh abilities in the entire game um i know that's gonna sound like an exaggeration but it's just incredibly solid and just so good for pushing content um it is second to an ability that i'll talk about uh, when i make the warrior video very 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 soon so by the way if you want to see that make sure to subscribe i didn't even say to subscribe yet jesus christ okay wow that's so unlike me all right afk uh rotation let's talk about that now okay afk rotation and as y'all might not know the afk uh trash mobs are once again complete trash you really don't have to worry about that much damage mitigation during the trash waves which is why i recommend going full damage uh for gladiator at least because uh well i'm not gonna lie the gladiator has a lot of self-sustain options there's really not gonna be that much to heal you just want to push out as much damage as possible which is why i recommend using let's charge first it's gonna let your uh team pop off drastically right at the beginning really get those trash waves down instantly uh frenzy neck just make yourself do a lot more damage and deal more damage to them uh whirlwind because it's amazing every trash pack is going to be aoe so having an aoe option is great and then cleave once again hey deal more damage to a bunch of enemies it's a really good rotation it's very 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 solid um fury warriors or sorry uh not fury i'm thinking about world of warcraft uh gladiator warriors you're most likely i would be shocked if you weren't uh the number one or at least number two dps on your entire team for trash packs the amount of dps that this this class can push out on AOE fights is actually insane. Uh, pair that up with a decent pet, which I'll talk about later. It's crazy, crazy, crazy good. Uh, yeah, once again, probably one of the best AFK DPS in the game. And it's a tank. It's pretty odd. Oh, next up, almost forgot to mention what you're going to wish for, Whirlwind. Uh, Whirlwind's great to have at Legendary to push AoE packs earlier and do AoE fights better, but once again, it is not necessary. So if you want an ability that you're going to use in a later game, it's going to have a lot of uses, but it's not crazy needed right at the beginning, I definitely recommend wishing for Whirlwind right at the start. Now let's talk about utility. Okay, so for the Gladiator, they're going to have two forms of utility options that you can choose from. One is Uppercut, which is going to knock them in the air the longer that they're in the air, or sorry, for the duration that they're in the air, they're unable to generate any type of focus or energy, and they're not able to do anything, they're not able to take any actions. It's pretty much just a glorified stun that looks way cooler because it's really cool to punch a boss in the jaw, make him fly up, and make them not able to do anything. The other option that we're going to talk about is Intercept, which is just your typical interrupt, but if you're successful with your interrupt, it's going to reduce the amount of damage that you take uh, by 10% for a little bit, which is great. It's a great option option to have uh nothing too game breaking uh but yeah i mean they're just two solid abilities so let's be real here y'all if you've played a tank you've probably by now noticed that the tank options for clatter cards they're really honestly negligible which once again i'll put a reference image up here for what some of the top players are using um on different servers on their clatter cards which again big shout out to spicy pudding uh for doing such a great job with the community with the information that he shared uh pretty much the only thing that you're going to want to have as a tank is just aim for the fluff and desert sets it's going to help you a pretty good amount but still not too much but uh yeah the clatter cards are pretty negligible it's, it's also very flexible so kind of just you know if you want more damage go more damage if you want more mitigation just Pick your poison, whatever type of tank you want to be. Uh, personally, I feel like the mitigation route will be a lot better for you as you start to progress into the mid and uh, late game, which is where you should be at when the clatter cards actually start mattering in the first place. So, uh, yeah, in my opinion, just go as much mitigation options as you can and try to aim for those fluff and uh, desert options. All right, pets best part of the game as y'all know it now once again you can't always use the tyrant dragon to flex on your teammates but if you actually want to talk about what you want to use to be good well then you're going to need two pets okay i'm gonna be honest with y'all you're going to want to have one pet to dps you're going to have a pure dps pet with as much uh, attack and assist as possible for any type of fight that you want to push and then from there you're going to want a guardian pet with as much symbiosis and guardian as possible because eventually you're going to get to a state of the game especially on island two where everything's going to hit really hard you're going to feel like an absolute little word that i can't say without getting demonetized so i'm not going to say it you're going to need a backup pet <laughs> that's going to make you a little bit tankier 
because some of the fights late game are just straight up stupid i'm not gonna lie and uh gladiator it doesn't have as much uh mitigation options as warrior i'm not gonna lie they are definitely second to warrior in the mitigation uh regard at least in single target fights so you're gonna want to pet you're gonna want to pet and you're gonna want to be real good especially in the symbiosis and guardian department okay but uh if you can flex on your teammate while also being good great all right lastly we're going to talk about tempering everybody's favorite way to lose your money can you believe it so this is going to be different than the other two videos where i tell you uh attack hp crit no it is not like that at all uh now you could do that early game but that's straight up stupid get your tempering set up for the late game because that's when you're really going to be able to use utilize it so for tempering you are going to go hp armor block cut and dry that's what you want get those three stats don't get anything else it's gonna help you the most. It's gonna make you an absolute meat shield. You're going to need it for PVE. You're going to need that for PVP. It's gonna help you a lot. So yeah, get as thick as possible and then you won't die. And then when you don't die, your buddies don't die and then your team's gonna be A-OK. -okay. All right, that's gonna do it for this one, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, but first I wanna give a big shout out to two of my favorite people, Kenji and Yama. They are always chilling with me in the Discord. I'm always able to observe their gameplay because one, they're, well, they're on both of my teams, right? So they're able to be able to vibe with me and chat about uh, Gladiator and all that jazz. We can put our heads together and figure out the best way to play this class because it's a great class. And honestly, by the way, if you ever wanna join the Discord and just chat, hey, I'm in there pretty much all the time. So, hey, check out the Discord. It's a good time. But yeah, hey, if you made it this far, please subscribe, okay? I believe 70% of the people who watch my videos don't subscribe. So let's not be a part of the 70% today and let's give Tectone a chance. Hashtag give Tectone a chance in the comment section, please. Hey, for real, I really hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm going to get the hell out of here, y'all. Uh, but hey, I really enjoyed making this video. Tomorrow, we're doing the Druid, I believe. Wanted to cover two DPS options and a tank, then a healer, and then I'll cover the rest really not looking forward to one of them because i hate a specific class in the game anywho all that should aside once again i'm out of here hope y'all enjoyed the video hope y'all having a damn good one and continue to do so i've been tech y'all been great and as always peace